Hey guys, Steve Perry from Backcountry Gallery here. Thanks so much for stopping by and watching my video today. Today we're going to solve the problem of what do you do when you're trying to photograph a scene and there's a bunch of people crawling around there. I mean, you've been there before, you come up to this really cool historical scene or this really great landscape, but there's a bunch of tourists around and they're wandering around the scene and it's making it just about impossible to get the shot. Well, I'm trying to shoot a, uh, just a simple shot of this little cabin here and it's really, really tough because there's some kids and uh, people just wandering around this thing. So what do you do? Should I just wait here all afternoon and as people come and go and hopefully maybe one point or another there'll be a break in the action and I can actually go ahead and shoot the photo? Or should I try a Photoshop trick? Basically what we're going to do is take a series of pictures with the kids in different places and then we're going to take the good parts and combine them in Photoshop. Uh, let's go ahead and take the picture right now. Okay, as you can see, I want to take this picture of the cabin, but I have a couple of kids right there and they're chatting and they're talking and that's fine. I mean, this is a public place, but the thing is, I don't want to have to clone them out. So I'm going to go ahead and just take the picture and I'm going to wait for them to move. I just got the picture and hopefully they'll move here. There they go. And I'm just going to wait for them to stop. Once they stop again, uh, I'm going to go ahead and quickly take off, take another picture. Now I know what you're thinking, I have two pictures now, both of them with kids in, and I don't want to have to clone anything out. Well, you know what? I have a trick that I'm going to show you in Photoshop next that's going to make this so easy, you're going to wonder why you hadn't thought of it yourself. Okay, we're back home, I'm on the computer, but before we start, I want you to notice that I was using a tripod to take those shots. That's absolutely critical if you're going to do this kind of work, because it won't work otherwise. You're going to see why here in a second. So let's go ahead and jump to the computer and uh, take a look at this. Okay, we're in Photoshop now, and we have both images open. Here's the one with the kids that uh, are to the side of the cabin, and here they are in front of the door. Now, what we need to do, the first step, is just to move one of these images on top of the other. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one, and I'm just going to use my move tool here. And I'm just going to drag it, hover it over that uh, little tab for a second, hold the shift key down, and what that does is it'll line them up all the way around the edges there, perfectly centers it for you. And uh, that's one of the reasons the tripod was so important, because if your images aren't exactly perfectly aligned, this isn't going to work. But in this case, they are, so let's go ahead and show you the trick. Now, as you can see, we got the kids here on layer one. Now, on layer zero, they're over here. Basically, what I need from layer zero is I need this little area right here around the door, because that's nice and clean. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to turn this layer one back on. I'm going to go ahead and take a mask, and just drop it in there, it's a white mask, and I'm going to make sure my foreground color is set to black, I'm going to select my brush, and I'm going to make sure opacity is set to 100%. From here, I'm just going to brush them right out. Now what just happened wasn't any cloning trick or anything like that. Basically what I did is I blocked out the kids from layer one. I'm going to go ahead and disable that mask, you can see they're technically still there. but with the mask enabled, basically it's blocking the kids out and allowing that door from layer zero to show through and giving us a final image without any tourists in it. So from here you would just go ahead, flatten the image and do your normal post-processing work. Okay, that's pretty much it. It's actually really, really easy. Now we just used two photos for an example, but if you have a crowded place, you may need three or four and just kind of mask them one right after the other, but the principle's the same. It's really easy to do, but just remember, you have to use a tripod. And also, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and my email newsletter so you always get these great tips anytime I put them out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.